I keep meaning to hit the record button and I keep accidentally hitting the, uh, the photo button. Because that's just how non-tech I am. Uh, it's like birds right outside my window. Uh, I don't know if I'm going <clears> to <throat> be able to post this. I have to check first because I'm, I'm not wearing any clothes. I'm trying to just get my face shot. And if I just get my face, I can post it. I can't get any, any other part of me because it's uh, too hot for clothes. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. That's the thing with rolling my own tobacco at like all. There's no filter, so all the little pieces just go in my mouth. I uh, woke up today with uh, Barbados on my mind, and the reason is because there's a bucket of whiteout that's dumped over um, uh, Celtic history, Irish history, and, and, and Scottish history, both the Irish and the Scots were duped into uh, slavery. And uh, the Irish and the Scots were enslaved under uh, Cromwell and shipped to uh, Barbados. And now uh, this uh, slavery that took place, it's, um, it's not in the history books. Wow, these birds are loud outside my window. This, they, I don't know what they're doing out there. Um... So, um, that's, that's when I say there's a bucket of whiteout dumped over Irish-American history. And, and, and I, I'll say, I'll say, uh, Celtic, overall Celtic history, because, it, including, including the Scots. Wow. Just watching the, these birds are outside my window. They're, like, going crazy. Um, so, um, anyhow... This slavery, it, 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 this enslavement of the Irish and Scots. If I don't always say and Scots too, I, I do. I do include just the Scots. Um, it it happened under uh, the euphemism of indentured servitude. So then I say euphemism because there are those people who say, oh, no, the Irish were not slaves. They were indentured servants. Uh, not so. The, the Irish were enslaved under the euphemism of indentured servitude. Meaning uh, they're given this, this contract, and the contract is baloney. So uh, duped into it, but uh, shackled, shipped to Barbados and forced to work on these uh, sugar plantations. Wow. Now, who sees an opportunity? Who wants to profit off of that? By listing my, uh, my Celtic people, Irish and Scot, as uh, subhuman in order to enslave them and justify the enslavement of my uh, Celtic people. Who sees an opportunity for profit? You know, and that's the question, and a very which I find very disturbing, as I'm sure you do. Um, we have this uh, sugar industry, and it's making a whole lot of money. And guess what? Though this uh, money that's being made off of these sugar plantations is happening at the expense of the life breath of my Celts. It's happening at the expense of the life breath of my. Uh, my my Irish slaves chained on this plantation.
it wasn't, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it, it was an indentured servitude. I'm not saying it was a job of any sort. It was a cruel enslavement. It was an, it was an act committed against the people of Celtic origins. An, an act so cruel, cruel to an uns, unspeakable degree, un, unfathomable. It's unthinkable. It's even it's even too painful to speak about the amount of suffering the Irish endured. And when we hear the the term indentured servitude, I call out that term as a euphemism. When the reality is. Who were brutally mistreated, and they were enslaved on this plantation in Barbados, and basically uh, many of them were just uh, were murdered under the sun. The the brutality of being uh, being in this workforce and under under the sun really uh, caused was the cause of death for so many of my Irish enslaved and uh, my question is where is where is the graveyard where is the memorial where how do we preserve the the memory of the of the of the uh, Celts and the Irish lives were lost the Irish who were uh, brutally murdered it was either a slow long death or but they were murdered under this uh, cruel sun in this uh, workforce, being made to do this slave labor. And uh, the most un unfathomable thing of all is that there are those who would see an opportunity in this, see an opportunity in these ships coming for of with all my uh, Irish in shackles to be enslaved here in Barbados and somebody's going to see a financial opportunity for economic growth at what at what expense this sugar cane empire is built upon the bloody backs of my Irish slaves